projects are unique projects in the sense that it's an almost an adaptive reuse type of project where it's used an existing structure, utilised existing columns and the steel portal frame that was there and then built another 40 storey tower on top of it, some unique features. Significant structure by anybody's standards. It's like building the foundation of a new building 90 metres up in the sky. The fact that you're 90 metres up immediately raises safety concerns. It's potentially the biggest risk to the whole job. It must go well. The restriction we've got is limited time frame of 60 days. Floor plate is quite small at 1,000 square metres. An awful lot to be done safely and efficiently within the time frame. So that's basically the task. The end of that is how we came up with a methodology to build the belt truss. The belt truss is a seven metre high transfer structure constructed 90 metres above street level. What it's doing is transferring the load from the upper part of the building to the lower part of the building. The team have methodically planned the construction sequencing to deal with all the high risk elements in regards to safety, program, cost and quality. The methodology that has been developed for this belt truss has had a huge amount of input with safety and had a lot of different experienced people involved. This is right through the planning stage and the implementation. And we've also drawn down on the experience that we have from our interstate partners in Prabil being from Melbourne and a couple of the other states have drawn down on their experience to ensure that we get a methodology that's sound, right and efficient. We had about 70 workshops with all parties involved on working through to try and understand the parameters, the limitations, to identify all the risks and identify mitigation of those risks. Some key data that's obviously quite interesting about the belt truss. So in terms of concrete quantity in that area, there's about 1,500 cubic metres of concrete, 450 tonnes of steel reinforcement, 1.2 kilometres of high tensile stressed bar, which I actually have a sample of here. So you can imagine all these key fundamental structural materials are obviously difficult to install. Because this structure actually has a four and a half metre cantilever that made it difficult to access the facade cladding underneath that cantilever. We would install the, the bulk of the cladding prior to the cantilever slab going in over the top and that was a hold point on the methodology we've chosen. The edge protection that we've designed for the belt truss um, has been quite complex and unique. The perimeter screen design we've incorporated on the project that we've installed from the low rise structure from basically the podium on level 10 up to level 26 where these screens will terminate for the belt truss has incorporated some quite unique cantilevered platforms which will actually encapsulate and cater for that cantilever on level 28. So once we actually terminate those screens at level 28 there's quite a complex scaffold design which will be installed on top of those to provide safe access for all workers. The key feature of ProBuild's planning process is the high risk workshops. This is where the team demonstrate how they have dealt with and mitigated risks to senior management and receive sign off prior to commencing construction. Once the belt truss is up and running, it's really important that everything that we've agreed with safety, we put into play. This will be through strong leadership of the project team, but also the workers involved. To see what they have achieved at this stage is incredible and a really uncompromising approach to safety. It's something they should all be proud of.